Welcome to State of Tech Families. My name is Jared Hill, and today we're gonna to talk about Game Center, which is a Apple app for your iPhone, iPod, and iPad. What Game Center allows you to do is uh, uh, several things. Now, um, leaderboards are very popular on games. Um, they've been popular back to arcade games that uh, we are probably familiar with. Um, leaderboards allow you to see who's got the top scores and all that stuff. Um, and you've probably seen that before in games on your uh, iOS devices. Um, but what the Game Center also allows you to do is play multiplayer games um, and add friends. Now, uh, what happens there is these multiplayer games, you're actually playing against other people um, on the other end of a device. So um, over the internet, you're playing against others, sometimes real time, other times it's a turn-based game. Um, that uh, you know, many of you may have remembered words with friends. That's a turn-based game where I take my turn, I wait for you to take your turn. Some multiplayer games are played at the same time, and some multiplayer games include the ability to communicate between two people. Like with words with friends, you were able to communicate with the other person that you were playing uh, through through messages. Um, so if you want to restrict that ability, there is an option for that. You can restrict multiplayer games altogether because unfortunately that's the only way that Apple can restrict that communication or anything that happens through there is through the Game Center API, which uh, allows those apps to talk to each other, which allows you to talk to somebody on the other end of, of the same app on a different device in a different location. Um, and then there's the ability to add friends in Game Center, which allows you to see high scores and all of that stuff uh, with your friends, which probably isn't as big of a deal, um, but nonetheless, uh, it still may be an option that you would wanna shut down for your younger children. So if you wanna disable those, there are options for that. We're gonna go ahead and take a look right now on how to disable those restrictions or add those restrictions uh, for the Game Center app. All right, so let's take a look at Game Center and what that is real quick, and then we'll look at the restrictions. So Game Center is a tool that, uh, or an app that allows you to um, play multiplayer games and uh, interact with other people. Um, you can see here that I have, you know, people that I can add as friends. It looks like a couple people have asked me to, um, uh, to be friends, and then there are some friends that I have on here. Uh, a lot of them are people I don't even know. Um, some of them are people that I do know. Um, but uh, what I'm able to do is view their um, uh, previous games that they've played, their friends, and all that stuff. So that's a feature for friends, and um, uh, you can disable that if, if you want as well. I can also view um, games that I've played and their leaderboards. Um, which is neat. You can see my iOS games down here. A lot of them are games that my kids play and that information goes out to um, Game Center, uh, you know, so that their scores are kept and all that stuff. Um, and uh, disabling a couple of the features doesn't get rid of this. It lets you still take part in the leaderboards. Um, but the, the main things that you want to watch out for, be careful of, is is the the, the friending feature, which isn't necessarily a, a, a bad problem. Um, I mean, there isn't, you know, a ton of things that I could do other than unfriend the person. Um, but it does allow me to play multiplayer games easier against these people and also send push notifications like game invites and stuff like that, sending them and receiving them from people as well. So um, if you don't want that feature, you may just want to disable it altogether. Um, here's the challenges, which is what I was, I was talking about challenging other people to games, which a lot of times my kids will accidentally do using my account. They'll challenge people to games because they'll click on the multiplayer option on accident and it'll send a push notification out to all the people on other devices. And so for me, I found disabling this feature because I don't personally use it, um, is a good option. Uh, for, for my young kids who don't have their own, um, you know, iCloud accounts and, and Game Center accounts of their own. Um, so obviously right now you can see, um, you know, I'm logged into my own Game Center account. 
Um, and then it also shows turns, like whose turn is it between different games and stuff like that. Obviously, it's, you can see people are awaiting um, uh, my turn. So Game Center can be used for those purposes. It also allows multiplayer gaming to be um, to be done. So if there's a game that you're playing that allows you to play multiplayer, like I was explaining Words with Friends or any of those other types of games where you can play with other people on the other end of another device, um, you can disable that feature in Game Center. So let's go into settings, and settings looks a little different depending on whether you're on an iPhone, iPad, or an iPod, but you'll want to tap on General, scroll down to Restrictions. Now, if you've already enabled restrictions, you'll have to enter your restrictions passcode. I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'll just disable restrictions so you can see what it looks like uh, from the beginning. If we tap on restrictions, we'll have to enable them first, enter a passcode, Make sure you enter a passcode more challenging than the one that I just entered. And then scroll all the way down to the bottom where it says Game Center, Multiplayer Games, and Adding Friends. So if I turn off Multiplayer Games, it's going to disable that feature in every game that, in a, that has multiplayer as a feature. Um, which, you know, could limit you uh, from playing those types of games with other people. Uh, but you can also disable that restriction for yourself and then re-enable it uh, when your children are using the device. Um, and then the adding friends feature, you can enable and disable that too. All you have to do is toggle these little switches to off and then that feature is disabled. Um, so, and then toggle them back on and they're ready to go. So uh, just to show you what that looks like, let's go ahead and uh, enable these restrictions and we'll back out of the settings application. And then if I go into Game Center, um, there are things that I'm not going to be able to do anymore. I already have friends in here, so that feature obviously is, is already there, but I cannot send friend requests because it's been disabled. Um, and then uh, my challenges also, I'm not gonna be able to go and challenge other people to games and whatnot because um, I, I don't have that option enabled anymore. So um, that's just uh, what it looks like and what you can do. Um, dis uh, disabling the multiplayer feature, it's going to look different in every single game that you try and load up, um, but it's going to give you a message saying that that feature is not uh, currently available. So that's how you disable those features in Game Center. Of course, that does limit some playability in some of the games as well, but if you are more concerned with your young ones being communicated with through games, then you will want to disable those features. For more videos like this, make sure to head on over to family.stateoftech.net. We also have videos at youtube.com slash stateoftech and our Facebook page where we post updates and other videos like this as well is facebook.com slash stateoftech. Thanks a lot and hope to see you soon on another State of Tech video.